I'm not going to stop until one of us is dead or in jail. That bloke is gangland lawyer Zara Gard Wilson's husband, Lance Simon. And that chilling threat you just heard, that was directed at me. In 2011, Lance stabbed a man to death, but was found not guilty on self-defense grounds. So I took this seriously. So did Victoria Police. Lance has just been arrested. He's been charged and is currently on bail for his alleged threat to kill me. But that's only the beginning. Watch this report all the way through to see what I've exposed. And then please, share it far and wide. Zara's husband Lance has been obsessed with Rebel News and specifically me for several months now. He's been broadcasting daily videos in which he defames us for the work we do. Lance sits in front of a Guard Wilson lawyer's banner and spouts all sorts of wild allegations. He's a crook and he's robbing you. This is a business for Avi. This is only about um, making money. What other fucking causes? He's not fighting nothing. It's dodgy lawyers that he has working for him. That's fake news. So Avi is fake news. And he's a shifty little scamming fucking rat, isn't he? Listen, to be honest, it didn't really bother me because lots of people talk crap about me on the internet. So get in line, Lance. And if you've actually ever bothered to watch one of his video, it was a lot of talk and no actual evidence to back up his ridiculous claims. Anyone with half a brain could see that. But last Thursday night, Mr. Simon made a claim about himself, not me, that as a journalist, I knew I must investigate. They're like, say, so you love doing videos, do some videos for the uh, for the Royal Children's Hospital. Now, these charities, uh, they're legit proper charities. Now, they probably won't appreciate one of their ambassadors being online and swearing all the time and, um, you know, viciously attacking the crowd funders. It won't be what they like. Well, yeah, I reckon the Royal Children's Hospital wouldn't want someone who posts the kind of vile stuff Lance publishes to be their ambassador. But even if he hadn't, I found it hard to believe that they're taking on a notorious gangland lawyer's husband and violent criminal as their ambassador. Either they've lost the plot or he's lying. So I had to investigate. It was 7.25 a.m. and I immediately sent an email, a media inquiry to the Royal Children's Hospital. I thought that answer me by... I know lunchtime, once everyone gets in after 9 a.m. and they had time to investigate the story. But no, 25 minutes later, 7.50 a.m., I got this sharp response. The Royal Children's Hospital has no involvement with Lance Simon, nor do we have ambassadors at the Royal Children's Hospital. I note in the Facebook video, Mr. Simon indicated he would be visiting the Royal Children's Hospital today. However, he will not be able to enter as we have a number of COVID-19 visitor restrictions. Oh, imagine my shock, eh? And what do you know? Not even 20 minutes later, the original video and claim are deleted and they're replaced with this. Uh, last night on my live, I said I was an ambassador to the Royal Children's Hospital, which obviously, you know, I'm not. I'm an ambassador to Melbourne Jet Ski Hire who are supporting the Royal Children's Hospital. That's one mighty mistake, calling yourself an ambassador of one of the most prestigious hospitals for kids in the world when you just really meant an ambassador for an obscure jet ski business, hire business in Melbourne. And I thought, if he's willing to lie about that so brazenly, what else is Lance hiding about the fundraising raffle for the Royal Children's Hospital? And to be clear, I'm not the one calling it a fundraiser. Lance is. Try to call my contact uh, at the Royal Children's Hospital, get him on camera just to explain why we were doing a fundraiser for them, spend my time productively and pay it forward and that type of thing. So, um, <clears throat> you know, for this um, Melbourne Sea Do, uh, sorry, Melbourne Jeski Hire fundraiser for the Royal Children's Hospital. So I decided to check out the website and I immediately noticed several red flags. Firstly, it was registered in New South Wales, South Australia and the ACT, not in Victoria, even though it's based in Melbourne. Then it also claimed that a portion of your purchase tickets will go to the Royal Children's Hospital, but doesn't specify how much. And finally, the promoter's address listed 
in the terms and conditions is none other than the gangland lawyer's office herself. So I decided to call Lance and put the questions to him directly. G'day Lance, Avi Amini here from Rebel News. How you doing, mate? Hey Avi, how are you? Keep in mind, I made this phone call before I was sent Lance's death threat. I'm not sure if my investigation prompted his threat, but once I received it, I passed it straight to police and made no other attempt to contact him. You can imagine why. So can you tell me, you know the raffle you've been promoting? Uh, the uh, Melbourne Jet Ski Hire. Yeah. Why is it not registered in Victoria as per the Victorian Commission and gambling regulation? Well, you'd have to ask Adam about that. I don't know much about business. Um, Isn't that what you do? You, you track down scammers or something? Yeah, I, I don't think they're a scam. At, um, what do you call it? I doubt highly that they're a scam. So, but I don't know much about business business side of things you could you i don't know why you didn't ring them you could ring them that's all right i'll grab the number at the end maybe i'll ask them that but uh i guess the next question is why is it registered to your wife's business at level 40 140 william street in melbourne what's registered the raffle i don't know so you, you don't know about that either no i can give you a number you can call her and ask her about <laughs> that if you like okay and on the website it says and you've been promoting that uh, ticket sales um that a portion of the ticket sales will be going to the Royal Children Hospital. Do you know how much exactly? I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me on a gotcha moment. So I got involved with those guys and they let me go on the ads. Um, so it was you know, a big compliment for me to be asked to be involved, especially when they're, they're registered with the Royal Children's Hospital. So proceeds go... Uh, uh, Part of the proceeds go to the Royal Children's Hospital. A substantial proceeds, like it's heaps of money. It's thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that they give to the Royal Children's Hospital. And um, I asked the wife, checked out with the wife. She said, yep, yeah, get on board. It's legit. Why do the terms and conditions not mention anything about the Royal, uh, the Royal Children's Hospital, any of the funds going to the Royal Children's Hospital? I just answered this question. Mate, you you got you're online all day talking yeah, about. You, 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 you. Apparently, you're online all day talking about scammers, and it seems like. Uh, let me read one of the conditions of this um, this raffle you've been promoting. It, it says the promoter may, in its absolute discretion, not accept a particular entry, may disqualify an entry, or cancel the entire promotion at any time without giving reasons and without liability, mate. I feel like you're part of a scam. <laughs> nice try, Harvey. What a surprise. Lance couldn't or wouldn't answer any of the questions and told me to contact his gangland lawyer wife, Zara. So I sent her an email with my questions and quickly received back this response. My practice's only association with Melbourne Jet Ski Hire is as a sponsor. And any questions about their trade promotion should be directed to Melbourne Jet Ski Hire. Of note, my practice's mailing address is serviced offices whereupon thousands of businesses are registered. Okay, that seems a little convenient that the lottery fundraiser her husband is heavily promoting that he said he only joined on her recommendation happens to be sponsored, whatever that actually means, and addressed to her office but no worries i'm persistent i emailed the questions to the company guess who answered her law clerk which is like a legal secretary the same bloke that features in some of lance's videos mitch starts off by warning me not to defame their company then says sponsors are businesses that have provided their services to assist in the promotion i'm not sure what Guard Wilson lawyers did to assist in the promotion of Melbourne Jetski, unless Lance is the Guard Wilson promoter, which would explain why he's often sitting in front of their banners. Then he goes on to say, what you are referring to is a trade promotion, not a raffle. Trade promotions as such are not required for registration in all states and territories. No such permit exists under the Victorian framework and trade promotion payments to charities are not a legal requirement by law 
and are made out of goodwill to the stated charity at the discretion of the campaign. Then he goes on to recommend I acquire some legal advice, but I had a better idea. I called the regulator. In Victoria, raffles can only be run for charitable or community purposes, so for fundraising. You can't run a raffle for personal gain or profit. So businesses can't run raffles, essentially. Okay, so they have to be associated to a charity, is that right? Yes, raising funds for a charity or community organisation. Okay, and what... So every single cent of the raffle has to go to a community or charitable organisation and be run on behalf of the community or charitable organisation with their permissions, and if necessary, a minor gaming permit. And so when would they need the permit? So the permit's required when either standard conditions aren't followed, so that depends on the prize pool value of the raffle, yep. or when the prize pool value of the raffle is over $5,000. Okay, so a raffle that um, the, the, the prize is $40,000, there would be no reason why it wouldn't be unregistered? It would definitely need to be registered... Um, it would have to be approved as a minor gaming activity and it would have to have a minor gaming permit. So if there's a raffle at $40,000 that's being run um, to you know, raise funds for a community or charitable organisation and it's open to Victorians, um, whoever's running that raffle needs to ensure that they have applied and been approved for a minor gaming permit. And that minor gaming permit number has to be listed on every single ticket that's sold. So if that so and, and we're not talking about forty thousand. We're talking about if they're raffling off a jet ski, for example, that's valued at forty thousand dollars. That's the way they're marketing it. Then it must Correct. be registered in Victoria. If it's open to Victorians, yes. And what are the penalties for illegally running a raffle? Um, they're quite severe. Unfortunately, I don't have that fee amount in front of me. But depending on the circumstances. Um, Whoever was running that, if running illegally, would be looking at very significant fines and possibly further. So if you have come across a raffle that doesn't feel you know, legit to you or you have concerns about, I do very, very, very strongly recommend that you report that through to us via our complaints form and our website. Um, you don't have to list your name against it if you don't want to, but if you'd like updates about it, please do put your contact details. But yeah, gaming complaints are very important to us. We take them quite seriously. So if you have come across something or you feel like you're being scammed, please don't hesitate to put that through to us in writing so we can investigate that for you. I did contact the the raffle um, organisers themselves. Now they claim it's a trade lottery. What's the difference between a raffle and a trade lottery? So raffles are when you essentially, um, you have a prize and you purchase directly a ticket. So you go, here's my $5 and I receive a ticket that goes into that raffle. So that's a raffle, as simple to put it. Um, a trade promotion lottery is when um, a business will have a product that's up to be won. Um, and the way to enter into that lottery is if you do a particular action. So for example, um, you know, if you sign up for a newsletter and you go in the draw to win, you know, a fifty dollar gift voucher. If you look on social media, for example, you'll see posts like Instagram or Facebook in which, you know, if you like, comment and subscribe, you go in the draw to win. Okay. Um, yep. So that that's when we're promoting businesses through a lottery system, but you don't actually pay for the ticket to go into the okay. lottery. You do some form of action. Okay. And so, and if a person is purporting to be donating a portion of the ticket sales, but I guess they're not really allowed to sell the tickets in the first place. But if they're purporting to be to doing it in partnership with a charity, because it's, it's a bit confusing here, but you're saying there is a charity. So this group, for example, as a marketing ploy, seem to be using the Royal Children's Hospital as, okay. as, as their fundraiser to get people in. But on their... On the site, it says a portion of the ticket sales will be going, so they're calling it ticket sales, uh, yeah. will be going to the Royal Children's Hospital. They're not declaring how much. What's the go with that? Do they have to declare or is the whole thing illegal to begin with? 
what you're describing does sound very suspicious and I would be very, um, very encouraging of you to submit so our compliance team can look into that. Of course, until a thorough investigation proves so, I can't call it a scam. But as the saying goes, if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, then it probably is a shifty little scam and fucking rabbit. If you appreciate this report, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Rebel News on YouTube right now. You won't win anything for it besides the satisfaction of spreading the truth. And if you want to support what we do here at Rebel Australia, why not head over to our new store at rebelstore.com.au and get yourself or someone you love an awesome Rebel Christmas gift. Merry Christmas.